Hi, hello, this is Charlie Jose, and you're watching again another episode of Apps in Charlie. This is my second video, my Friday video. Uh, I try to make it short. I just want to share to you uh, if you're doing some uh, trading and you're using some tools, uh, uh, indicators, technical indicators, uh, you've come to the right place. I'm going to show you two, at least two new ones. Well, not new, but if you're you know you're not uh, exploring much so i'm gonna give you two uh, technical indicators that might uh, help you uh, more and gain more in your trading so before we proceed uh, btc right now is like going down and uh, it's in this range right now trying to uh, uh, not go under <laughs> further between uh, 28 222 uh, what's this and 27 700 if this one breaks down again it will uh, go to this level between 27 300 and uh, 26 600 so always have dry powder always have dry powder fyi okay so i'm using my traditional uh day trading uh, uh technical indicators you have the bollinger band you have the rsi and you have the macd but uh let's skip 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 a btc right now and uh, go to uh, go to the the binance chart okay so this is the binance chart we're looking at the four hour chart so this one is my traditional one if you're doing some day trading and as you can see uh how to use this okay so of course you need to be in the you know calendar uh, i mean your uh you you, sh you should be in the candles part okay your price should be in the candles not in uh, and then you you go to here in the technical indicators you type in BB, you type in RSI, and then you type in uh, MACD. Okay, so it will pop up here. So there's no limit here in if you are using the trading view inside uh, Binance. Okay, yes, okay. And maybe it's the same with, Mac, uh, with Maxi and with OKX and Bybit and other... Uh, centralized exchanges as well so so this one is a good example so how to use this uh, basically uh, if uh, the Mac, if you're doing a, a day trading uh, this one is a good example for example this one it's outside the the Bollinger band on the bottom side and this one also it's outside on the bottom almost outside in the Bollinger <laughs> on the RSI and it's all already way below here also but it went way way below so it, there's a possibility that uh, BNB could go down okay so in the four hour chart uh, usually uh, the MACD is a lag has is a lagging indicator Okay, but uh, this one is not showing that it's lagging. But mo most of the time, it's a lagging indicator. Okay, like for example, this one in the hour hourly chart, RSI has, uh, uh, you know, it's parallel with this one. It's outside the Bollinger Band. Uh, RSI uh, confirms it, but uh, MACD is not confirming it yet. It's not in the bottom side. It should be here. So that's why uh, MACD is a lagging indicator not unless you try to adjust it here if you know how to adjust the inputs okay so the other one that we want to replace is the MACD and uh, this one is called the zero lag MACD uh, enhanced 1.2 okay uh, you could go here by the way i've switched to trading view you could go zero lag you could type in zero lag 
and you you go to the 1.2 version okay not unless they have a 2.0 version they don't have it yet okay so you get that it goes here in the bottom you could switch it here if you want okay and another one is rsi plus so you go here in the indicators and then you type in rsi uh, plus so there you go okay so why are we using this uh, so if you check on R, just rsi yeah it helps you uh, uh, confirm if it's already in a bottom okay for the candles uh, if the price is bottom here it's the, the same uh, two in terms of uh, wait where are we one hour chart okay in the one hour chart there you go so it confirms also it's in the bottom and it flashes red here so it's a buy and then uh and then the 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 macd is uh uh perfect actually it's the bottom bottom side and uh, it flashes the the green dot okay uh, you, if you don't need that you just need it to have it crossed okay in fact uh, macd is already telling you you could buy prior to the crossing between the macd line the macd line and uh, the macd line and what and the signal okie dokie plus it's confirmed also by uh, by the rsi if we go to the four hour chart let's see i usually use the four hour chart so this one also is good it uh, it in fact it it was advanced more advanced than uh, i expected but uh, it also tells you that uh, you know the the Mac, the zero lag macd is uh, doing great okay so you could use this uh, zero lag macd uh you know it's a good uh, it's a good uh, technical indicator if you don't want to use the traditional macd okay so but i suggest you use this first combi combination bollinger band rsi and macd before you move on to Bollinger Band, RSI Plus, and Zero Lag. So the thing with the RSI is that uh, it does the RSI thingy. You know, it does the RSI thingy, but it has some additional signals like the color coding. Okay, so it tells you that uh, it's overbought and then it's over sold here okay so it helps right it helps you to uh, enter uh, enter and exit from a trade okay so basically that's it no i've shown you uh, two two uh, two uh, alternatives for the rsi and macd Again, that's uh, RSA plus and zero lag MACD enhanced 1.2. Okay, you could only use this in the tradingview.com. You could use the free version. Okay, so every time you get a tip and you want to use a, uh, a an indicator, a technical indicator, uh, you know, uh, click the star. So you could, you know, you could put it here part of your uh, indicators uh, database okay so there's lots of here there's a FOMC there's EMA cross 50 550 slash 200 you know super trend that's another one I discussed to you later so there you go so much to study about especially if you're a beginner trader okay so but first practice with this and then you could move on to this because you have to understand the dynamics of this uh i called I, my my first uh, uh triple play uh indicators 
before moving on to these indicators. Okay, RSI plus and zero lag MACD enhanced 1.2. So there you go. So, and uh, what's happening to Bitcoin? It's still going down. Okay, a bit. Trying to hold on to this uh, level of uh, 27. 1,900 levels. Okay, it might go down to 28, 27,800. So that's my uh, tip for today uh, for trading, day trading, and uh, what else? Uh, and for, you know, knowing when to buy, to buy in and sell out. Okay, to, buy, uh, to cash in or cash out. Okay, so that's it for today. This is Charlie Jose saying thank you very much and see you on my next video. Goodbye. Happy Friday.